Welcome back to Algebra 1. We've been working so much with lines lately because lines are really, really fundamentally important in algebra. Graphing lines, equations of lines, slope, y-intercept, all of that stuff. Uh, so we're going to open this batch of lessons by giving you the slope of a line and its y-intercept, and you're going to have to write the equation of the line down. Now, it's, we've been doing problems similar to this for a while, so this shouldn't be too difficult for you. Um, but it, in this case, let's say if we have the slope of a line and we know that it's equal to 2 and we know the y-intercept of the line is equal to 5, how do we write the equation of the line down? Well, it's very simple. Uh, y is equal to m, if you remember, x plus b. We've covered this before, where the m is basically the slope and the y-intercept is b. So all of these problems are very, very simple. It's more of a, more of a review than anything else because we have done this quite a bit before. So the equation of this line is simply going to be 2, put the 2 where the m is, x plus 5. 2x plus 5, and that's the final answer. And that's the equation of the line. Now what if you have the slope is equal to negative 1 half, and the y-intercept is equal to 7? What would be the equation of that line? Same thing. y is equal to mx plus b, so we have a negative 1 half, x, so that's mx plus b, which is 7. So that's the final answer for the slope, or for the equation of that line. All right? We're going to do these kind of fast because, like I said, they are kind of review. What if you have the slope equal to 1 half and the y-intercept? Sometimes they write it as y-int instead of b, whatever. But you know it's the y-intercept. Equals negative 4. Um, what do we have there? y equals mx plus b. So we have 1 half, which is mx, plus b. But in this case, b is negative 4, so it's minus 4. So mx plus the negative 4 means it's going to be minus 4 in your equation. You can think of it as plus a minus 4. This becomes minus 4. So this is going to become the final answer for this equation. See, these problems are not hard at all. Once you know the form of the line, it's just a matter of plugging everything in. Uh, what if you know that the slope, sometimes I'll write out the word slope, is equal to 3 fifths, and the y-intercept is 0. How do you handle that? Well, same thing. y equals mx plus b. So y equals m, 3 fifths, x plus b, which is 0. But since you are just adding 0, you can just drop it. So you can just say 3 fifths, x. So that, that would be how you would actually circle that. And then our final uh, question is going to be, what if the slope was equal to 0, but the y-intercept is negative 6? How would you handle that one? y equals mx plus b. So it's going to be 0 x plus the negative 6 plus b. Um, the 0 x is going to drop away, so all you're going to have is y is equal to negative 6. That's the final answer. Notice that this looks like a horizontal line, uh, which makes sense, because if the slope is 0, then it should be a completely flat line. That's what uh, slope 0 means. It means there's no steepness to it at all. So it goes horizontal. And the negative 6 means it's shifted down below the axis, 6 units. So it's going horizontal like this at y is equal to negative 6. And that's basically all I have for this uh, lesson. It's very simple. We're kind of getting our feet wet back with, with writing equations of lines. Uh, make sure you can do all of these problems. Follow me on to the next few sections where we're going to continue discussing equation of lines. Specifically, we're going to be asking you how to write those equations of a line when you're given different pieces of information. At the end of the day, all you're trying to do is come up with uh, an equation of a line, whether it looks like this or like this or like this or whatever. That's what you're trying to get in all of these cases. So follow me on there, and we'll work on it right now.